The Romeo of Hollywood. I mean, I think it's funny. I'll be Romeo any day. <laughs> Here, take me as your Romeo. Hi Vogue, it's Cara Delevingne here. Welcome to my life and looks. Like, there's nothing too embarrassing in here, so let's see. Okay. Oh wow. I was quite awkward at taking photos at that time, so I got little hunched shoulders. I love to kind of dress up and become someone else, or I don't know, I loved using fashion like that to, to make me feel a certain way or to make me um, feel like I had extra powers. I always thought that style was something more you would have as a costume. That's always how I saw clothes, because I just thought whatever I could put on, it could make me feel a certain way, like an outfit or a cape. Next one. That was my first time walking in a Burberry show. I remember that because um, I think I was very, Nervous, as you would be. The shoes were very, very tall. I was still getting a hand on how to walk in heels, which I'm still figuring out. I remember getting that bag, and I was like, that bag was heavy. So I was like, how am I gonna do this all? I just remember always when I was walking down, the first couple of times, all that was going through my head was, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, which doesn't really look like that in my face. Thank God I was had a poker face at that point. That's what I always did in a, um, in a rehearsal. I would always try and purposely trip, like a little bit. Maybe fall over in the rehearsal so I wouldn't fall over in the show. Aha, this was my first Chanel show. It was a couture show. I was terrified. Um, when I get scared, I talk too much and I act erratically. I was very much just terrified. And I think I remember seeing Carl for the first time and just standing there awkwardly, not trying to look at him. And he just came up to me and said, don't worry, you're meant to be here. It made me feel very, very safe and secure. But it was amazing. It was set up like a, a plane and we were all like air stewardesses. But I really loved that show. It was really, really special. That was the beginning of my relationship with Chanel, which was absolutely wonderful. And Carl, who I love and adore still, definitely changed my life forever. He was a very private person, Carl, I think. He let the clothes speak for themselves. And I think when he did speak, what came out was his fashion and he made it look so easy. Everything he did, it just always came to him. He was actually just very kind to people and he very much, um, we made friends. There was just a lot of things that people didn't know about Carl and that's what I really, I always felt so grateful to have known all that. Oh wow, I'm a child. I look the same age as I did in the first photo. That was Anna Karenina, Joe Wright. It was a very interesting part. I, it was a non-speaking role, but again, it was my first foray into acting in movies. My first shot was a wide scene, a wide shot. And I was sitting in a group of people and Joe Wright came up to me and he was like, stop trying to look pretty. Because I think for so long as being a model, I trained myself to know where cameras are and to know how to make my face look a certain way, look pretty, because I didn't feel that way. Kind of acting, I realized I had to unlearn um, all that I'd learned in modeling. Because acting is the one that came original, like came naturally to me in terms of putting myself in other people's shoes and, uh, and, and trying to understand where people and why people do things. I loved it, I always wanted to do it, so just, but that was kind of the beginning of it. Next one, those ringlets are huge. Aha, that was Marc Jacobs. That was an amazing show. That wasn't the show I had really bad psoriasis. It was the show. You can't see it because I was painted. That was one of my last shows where I just decided to stop for a while because I'd worked so much. I was covered in foundation and exhausted and was at the end of my fashion month. No one is perfect, God no. I mean, if anyone was, they wouldn't be happy. I had cystic acne at 25, which is a nightmare, but you know, that was something I got. I never had bad skin before that. Some people, especially young girls, look up to models and be like, oh, I want to look like that. But no one looks like that. No one, no one, no one, no one. This is my second Mepple. I loved this look. It was very cool. I think the year was punk. I was with Sienna Miller that year on the Burberry table. He's one of my pretty great friends. I just loved that look so much. It was, again, it was a very hard year to hug anyone. Everyone had spikes all over them. So I was like, hi. How are you? Ow, that ring really hurt. It was kind of a nightmare for everyone to, to get close to each other, but that was hysterical. Oh, my first Vogue US cover. Joan and Carly. Wow, that is so crazy. That was so long ago. There was, it was a fold out cover, so there was a lot, lot of us on that. Those two were like, you know, model icons to me, and I was like, what am I doing in the middle of this? Um, that's so funny, the Instagrams. So this, oh my God, I was like, I'm a piece of pink cheese. That was one of the funnest shows ever. It was me, Joan and Rihanna running around, pushing each other in a shopping cart. I definitely wanted to steal a lot of things from that thing. I mean, a Chanel chainsaw, it did work, by the way. I didn't turn it on, but apparently it did. But that was very sweet, yeah, because at the end I walked around with Carl, which was very, very nice. But he always liked to push me, and I didn't know he was pushing me into doing things that I didn't think I could do. He got me and Pharrell to do a whole, a whole movie that he directed in 
recorded a song together, but he always asked me my opinion on things and asked me what I would do if I did a fashion show. And I just always found it very funny because I was like, why does he want to know what I think? I mean, I just thought I was always weird and a bit goofy and but he always just made me feel a lot more confident in my creative ideas than I ever did, which I never really realized how much confidence he gave me, just not as a model, but as an artist. He didn't want me to see myself as a model. He wanted to see, he wanted me to believe in myself more than that, which was very, very sweet. This was when I went with Stella McCartney and I covered myself in tattoos, who was done by Bang Bang. I don't know, I just wanted to add some flair to it. It took a long time, they were all like stuck on but then repainted. That was a beautiful year. You know, they're like a passport of my life on my body, I suppose. Um, this was my first. I think these are my second, third. I don't know which way they go. This one I love. It's a tiger and a, and a red-headed woman. I think they're post-coital. This is my mother's name, Pandora. This is a elephant to remind me of my grandmother who died at 105, Angela. This is a wine glass that I have with Kaya and Charlotte Lawrence. This is a rose that I have with Paris Jackson. A lion, a snake, a heart I have with Adra Burr. A white tattoo that says breathe deep. It's not grammatically correct, it should be breathed deeply, but if it's said deeply, the Lee would go into my armpit, which would be weird. That's about all you can see, I think. There's others somewhere, but I won't show you those. Next one. This was at the VMAs for the music video, Bad Blood. That's a funny photo. With Taylor and Selena and Hayley. That's where all the girls kind of came to support Taylor, and I think we won that year, because I have a moon man in my house, so we must have done. We did win. That was a really fun video. It was just uh, a lot of us girls getting together and being badasses. I mean, I get to hurl around nunchucks with one of my best friends. Yeah, it was amazing. Ah, this was my second US photo cover. This was with Paper Towns. That was an amazing experience. I was doing it as an actress, which was amazing. Um, to be able to be on the cover of US Vogue as an actress was so cool. Dream come true. That was shot by the late Patrick Demarchelier, who I loved. I've worked with so many times. This was Paper Towns premiere, New York City. I am wearing a beautiful Saint Laurent dress. I got to revisit what it would be like to be in an American high school. I, but although I was like 21, everyone else was under 21. But it was just, a, it was a great job. I loved being Margot, that character was so fun. That was kind of my first time really being heavily, heavily into an accent and then not getting out of it for a while. <laughs> I think I had a problem switching back after a minute. Oh, I think this is sometime around Suicide Squad. I'm wearing a Puma tracksuit. I look like a boss, I've got my glasses on. No one can stop me with, <laughs> with my ferocious street style. Puma have been an amazing, amazing, Amazing company to work with. I've been able to start working with the Trevor Project, design different collections. I did one with Olivier from Bauman. I've done my XL collection, which is my yoga collection. I designed the Pride collection with them, which also is so helpful because I love being able to do something that can help other people, you know, in terms of the, the proceeds. They're really out there trying to make a difference because I think out of all these really big companies, they really want to, you know, try and push the envelope in terms of sustainability. But this is Chanel. Now, Carl always likes me to kind of have my own take on, on wearing. Um, Chanel looks, got my Supreme boxes on, which I also still have, maybe not the exact ones. So that was when I was doing a lot of yoga because I'm wearing a my chain, which I got from India, which is a Hindu goddess called Durga. That outfit was one of my favorites. Again, I love to mix and match all the things. It's quite androgynous, street style, Chanel, mix it all together in a cauldron. What do you get? That. Well, bam. Ah, Chanel, met ball. Sparkly, bald. So I had to shave my hair um, for my role in life in a year, which I was adamant about doing. That was done by my wonderful makeup artist, Romy. It was such a cool thing, because again, having your head painted and looking amazing. I mean, it was very, very cool. During that part that I did and during that time, I was quite self-conscious about um, my femininity and what hair actually meant to me and how much it really affected how I felt like a woman or not. And I think realizing how beautiful you can be and how, for me personally, I didn't realize how much hair meant that I could hide behind it and feel that way. So that was a really big moment for you to see that and be like, oh my God, I don't need, I don't need eyebrows. I don't need hair to, to feel gorgeous, to feel feminine, to feel masculine, to feel good. I just needed to feel that within myself. This is one of my favorite looks, actually. Wow. This is Iris Van Herpen Valerian premiere in LA. That was major. That dress was so, so cool. I mean, the fact that you can't see anything like my nipples or my vagina is amazing. The royal wedding. A royal wedding. That was Eugenie's wedding. That was one of the funnest. I don't know, the funnest weddings I've been to in a while, but that was the first time I was like, you know what? I could wear a suit, right? 
It was a morning suit, I had a tail coat. Also so much more comfortable, so much more easy, although I still was wearing heels. I love that look, the cummerbund man. I got a little toothpick in, really losing that moment. Love that. Next one, Chanel. That was the last Chanel show I ever did. That was an amazing one. It was really uh, beautiful, really whimsical. You know, being able to kind of go back and do a collection with Karl Lagerfeld, really thinking about what he taught me. And I was thinking, God, what will Karl do? He would always take things that he knew best of himself. And so for me, it was again, I don't even like saying genderless because I think all clothes, why do they have gender? Why Why does this have to be for a group of people? This have to be for another group of people? And to be able to bring sustainability into that, it just kind of meant something different for me. And, and again, the collection's subtle. They're not like huge, crazy things that you would see. And but they're all pieces of clothing that I want people to have for a very long time. And I want anyone who wears it, for the clothes not to wear them, for them to wear the clothes and see how they wear it differently and to see what they do with it. So I kind of want it to be people's collection, not ours, I suppose. This is the Met Ball. This is, is it queer? What was it year? Camp. Camp, yeah. It should have been queer, okay? I think this was my favorite. Yeah, because that, Kane was super glued in the car on the way there, which was hysterical. There were so many different options of what we were gonna do, and we, at the end of it, we were just like, let's do it all, because it's camp, why not? That headpiece halfway through, it had to come off my head, because that was hard. The chattering teeth were funny, because you could just wind them up and I was walking around chattering away. The next one. That was the Carnival Row press night in London. I'm wearing Bauman. Olivier is one of my closest friends, but he's also a wonderful, amazing designer. I love Bauman because it makes me feel just like so strong and so sexy, but still has that kind of masculine edge to it. The Carnival Row, I play Vignette Stomos. I am a fairy. It's kind of set in this neo-Victorian fantasy world. It's a beautiful show, it's about love, it's, it's crime, it's mystery, fantasy, all of the things. Fantastic. Only Murders in the Building. That is Alice Banks. That is a character I'm playing on Only Murders in the Building. I've got a very wry, naughty, cheeky smile on. I guess I'm about to approach Mabel, played by Selena Gomez. I am, funnily enough, that necklace that I'm wearing is a nipple clamp. That's kind of like a little Easter egg in the... <laughs> no one knows that it was a nipple clamp. I did, which I thought was funny. So yeah, I'm playing an artist, so I again have my like... I had stuff in my pockets, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I had a lot to say and wanted to do a lot when I was when we were looking at the costumes, even though the costume department are amazing. I used a lot of my own clothes, basically. Oh, I guess that's it. Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to go and take my clothes off and lie in a bucket of ice. Lots of love, Cara.